Well, in our back to school coverage this year, we're getting your information on getting you information on what the school year may look like as some of you try to decide if you want to send your child back at all. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is here to help answer those questions. Good morning, Haley. Hey, good morning, guys. So parents are asking about the health and safety of children, particularly those with chronic conditions. So we asked Texas Children's Hospital when strictly speaking about the children, if there are some kids who should not go back at all. According to Dr. Carisma Garcia from Texas Children's, the benefits of in-person school exceeds the risk of COVID in most children. It works as a safety net. It offers mental and physical health care screenings. It provides families with reliable meals, time for exercise. She says kids are less likely to contract and spread the virus until they're older, like high school or college age. But still, parents of children with chronic health conditions should consider if school will be a safe environment for them. The AAP recommends to push for accommodations rather than exclusions. And so if your child has very severe asthma, we would recommend talking to your pediatrician, um, updating your medication profile, making sure you have an in case of emergency plan. But in general, all children should go back to school. Here's the most important thing the American Academy of Pediatrics wants you to know. Yes, they say kids should return to school, but no, that should not be a return to complete normalcy. They say social distancing, sneeze guards, more hand washing options and masks for kids over 10 is a must. That means Garcia says younger than fourth grade should not wear masks. They can't help but touch their face. So they're going to be touching the mask and putting more germs on the mask than if it just wasn't there. Now, you know what? I also spoke to a doctor from UTMB, Scott Weaver, who says we will know what the sur current surge is going to do within the next maybe few weeks, get better or get worse. But until then, he thinks it's really too soon for schools to try and predict what this new school year should look like. Guys? Yeah, I, mean, I, I know we'd, we wish it would time out differently, but here we are. Yeah, I know. We all want to be able to tell the future right now, right? Yeah, exactly. All right. Thank you, Haley.